He replaces our hard, unresponsive heart with a soft heart that treasures Jesus above all things and is being formed. I hope this gives you hope. Don't be an all or nothing person here. You'll go crazy. You'll bail on Christianity if you're an all or nothing person. If you say the new birth has to produce that entire form immediately, you will die. You kill yourself or you'll bail on the faith. It is, it is being, the spirit is in you and he's being formed in you. He's, he's taking that brand new, soft, responsive, touchable, sensitive heart and he's giving it form. And oh, we'll have lots to say about the battles there when we talk about how how do the newborn people live eventually. And thus, picking up now in the last phrase in verse 28 of Ezekiel 36, and thus he is shaping us into the kind of people who love to do the will of God. I will cause you to walk in my statutes. That doesn't mean kicking and screaming. That's not the way the Holy Spirit does. That's the way the law does. The law land on you without doing this? Well, you may do it and become Nicodemus to the core. Classic Pharisee. But when the new birth happens... He causes us to walk in his statutes from the inside shaping. We start to think, well, not committing adultery is a beautiful thing. Not stealing is a beautiful thing. Not killing is a beautiful thing. Not lying is a beautiful thing. Loving my neighbor and inconveniencing myself and dying is a beautiful thing. Because he's that way and he's in me. And he's taking shape. He's stretching himself out and forming himself within. So, concluding exhortation. Since the way that that you experience all of this is through faith, since the way that you experience all of this is through faith, I invite you now in the name of Jesus and by the power of the Holy Spirit to receive him. Another word for faith according to John 1, 12. To receive him as the sin-forgiving, transforming treasure of your life.